Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, good to be with you today. Grateful we could gather together this morning. Uh, really nice day today. Sunny and warm, it looks like, huh? Um, see if we get some folks jumping on here today. And uh, I know we got some stuff going on uh, this morning, for sure. Uh, with some folks. So let's see what we have happening here. I got no one on yet. So we'll see. We got one viewer. Yay. One viewer. Oh, hey, mor morning, Ju Julie, Lou, Joe. All right, shalom, shalom, double shalom. Uh, six viewers on this morning, so we're grateful to have you guys on this morning. Um, morning Tom and Michelle Joyce uh, traveling to Missouri all right we're on the road uh, enjoy your trip morning Bertie hope you're doing well you've got the Sun shining so I like that it is a sunny morning today uh, and it's supposed to be quite warm hi Diane hope you're doing well one more day, one more morning for, for Ron has to get up and then he retires tomorrow. Wow. Um, I don't know what he's going to do. Well, I know what he's going to do. You got work for him. I know that, Diane. So that's good. All right. Uh, I think the Bartash sisters are all over at the hospital. So no Deb and Sue and Joe's in surgery right now. Uh, so uh, she went in at 7 this morning, or was supposed to, I haven't heard, uh, but 4 to 6 hour surgery, so. Um, we will, uh, we will keep, uh, keep her in our prayers this morning for sure. Well, um, yeah, life can get challenging. I think we, we all know that. Um, and kind of some words of encouragement for us today. Um, as we it was we find ourselves in a in a world that um, is you know is is difficult is hard. Um, I read a, a an email a letter this morning about you know uh, where our our nation is changing and it's, it, it talks about you know about um, a nation without laws. And without God's law, the Ten Commandments, and uh, we're just seeing that, seeing that, and we're living in the middle of that. Uh, and, and the parable that Jesus tells or explains for us this morning, I think, it can be helpful, can be encouraging uh, to us. We're in this season of Epiphany, coming to an end this Sunday, as as Jesus is revealed on the mountain of Transfiguration. That God's plans uh, come come together, and we are encouraged. That we have a God who gives us a second chance, a God who is merciful, right? Um, a God who is is with us, and so those are words of encouragement for us today, as we live in a world and uh, certainly a culture that seems to be filled with a lot of weeds, if you will. And we're trying to live in the midst of that. This shouldn't be surprising. Jesus knew that this is going to be uh, the world and that we live in. It's it's broken, and yet. We can be people who, who don't give up, uh, who, who don't quit, but wait for God to work. Uh, and that's really this idea of uh, living by faith, living by faith, uh, waiting for God to work. Um, but it's not just not doing nothing. Um, it's not just waiting. That's part of it, but it's also putting our faith into action, um, putting our faith into action. So it's just really this both and, and we see that in our scripture readings uh, for this morning. The first uh, first one comes to us today uh, from the book of Lamentations. It says it's good that one should wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. So here the, the author of the scriptures, uh, Solomon, says it's, it's, it's good that we live by faith. We, we wait Patiently, we wait quietly for the salvation of God. All right, 
we live by by faith but it it doesn't stop there where we just kind of say okay we're going to wait patiently and not do anything uh faith without works faith without action is is dead uh and so the author of the hebrews writes these words let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us looking to jesus the pioneer and perfecter of our faith so the author of lamentation says we patiently live by faith that's part of it trusting in god to work but then uh, the author of the hebrews says put your faith into action right stop step up start running follow in the way of jesus follow in the way of of jesus and i think that's important for us uh, today because uh, it can be easy for us to just, uh, I'm going to just wait and trust and not do anything. Uh, but we're called also to put our faith into action. Uh, you know, James says faith without works is, is dead, is no, is no faith. Uh, and, and I think, that, you know, as the, the author of the Lamentations are, it, it, we can live with a sense of peace as we put our faith in uh, as we live by faith and then we can be people of action uh, as we as we live out our our faith and and the good news is as, as we look at this is we're not we're not alone all right we're looking to Jesus um, who did wait quietly and patiently for the salvation of the Lord uh, we, we saw that throughout his ministry his life my time has not yet come he said God will do what God will do, and I trust in that, but I'm also going to act, right? So we look to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. He is the one who encourages us to not give up, to not quit, to hang in there when life is hard. We are not alone. And that, that really plays itself out in in our reading for today from Matthew chapter 13, uh, one of the things that, that Jesus did was explain his parables uh, to his uh, disciples, those who were near to him, so that they would understand what he was saying. Now, you remember we talked about this on Tuesday, that, that Jesus spoke in parables to get, grab people's attention. He told them stories that, that perhaps they would be moved to see and listen to what Jesus was, was saying. Because Jesus had already spoken, Jesus had already acted, and yet people's hearts were hard, uh, their eyes were shut, their ears were closed off to the words and ways of Jesus. So Jesus, uh, because he, he wanted all to come to faith in him, would speak in these stories, these parables, so that what happened in the days of Isaiah wouldn't happen again, where the people would harden their heart and not hear the gospel, the good news. And so Jesus spoke in parables, and then he would explain them to his disciples. And Jesus is explaining to us uh, the parable of the weeds and the wheat. And he, I mean, it's, it's just the reality. Jesus said things are going to be rough uh, because we are planted in a world that is broken. But the day will come. Wait patiently wait quietly the day will come but don't give up put your faith into into action he says in the second parable as he tells this other parable in our reading for today take action all right you know what you get it, it's a priceless treasure so don't quit on it put it into action this faith that you've been given so this is the explanation of the parable of the weeds. Then Jesus left the crowd and went into the house. His disciples came to him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He answered, The one who sows the good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world, and the good seed stands for the sons of the kingdom. The, the, the weeds are the sons of the evil one, and the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is at the end of the age, and the harvesters are at the, the harvesters are the angels. So Jesus is explaining now this this parable, what's going to 
when to get what's going to be happen along with the good seed that is planted evil seed is planted right uh, that chokes off can choke off the the good stuff but the time will come Jesus says when the harvest will 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 come as the weeds are pulled up and burned in the fire so it will be at the end of the age the son of man will send out his angels and they will weed out of his kingdom everything that causes sin and all who do evil they will be th they will throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father he who has ears let him hear once again jesus says listen listen to what i'm saying i'm explaining to you what is happening now right we live in a broken world the time will come when all things will be made right. We wait patiently for that day. But here's the key. We put our faith into action. And here's this next parable Then Jesus jumps right into. Listen to this. He says, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field. Right? This is the kingdom of heaven. What, what Jesus is talking about, right? That he's ushering in this time of redemption and restore, re renewal and and restoration right uh, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field it's hidden in there it's the it's in our midst but it's not everybody sees it when a man found it he hid it again and then in his joy went and sold all he had and bought the field again the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls when he found one of great value he went away and sold everything he had and bought it jesus is saying put your faith into action right to have this nothing else can compare to it sell everything to have what i am giving to you redemption restoration renewal healing this is all yours right now but it will be yours for all of eternity yeah, it's hard right now because we are in the midst of the evil and wickedness and, and the seeds. And we often fall into that trap. Uh, but don't miss out on what Jesus is, is bringing. And Jesus is willing to give that to all, who all whose hearts are soft, whose ears are open and their eyes are willing to see. And we want to be those people. We want to put our faith into action and so send everything we have give up everything we have to to receive what jesus has given to us and so we wait patiently even as we put our faith into action it's worth it's worth everything because we know the end of the story don't we well today um we wait patiently but we also put our faith into into action and as we as we wait we are people who who trust in God's plan, even when it isn't easy. We know that what that God has good in store for us at the end of the age, and so uh, we want to we want to take that. We want to get that, no matter the cost, uh, no matter the price. We want to be a part of God's kingdom now and for eternity. And so today we uh, uh, we lift up our, our, our hearts in, in prayer. Uh, we we pray to the Lord. Uh, just as he calls us to do. The disciples said to Jesus, Lord, teach us to pray. And really the Lord's Prayer is about us asking God to help us be followers in his kingdom, right? Uh, as we pray, um, you know, thy kingdom come, uh, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Um, and so uh, we want to be those, those people uh, today, asking God's will be done in and through us kingdom come in and through us um, his good and gracious will be done in and through us as we seek to live as people of encouragement uh, in our prayers for today uh, for Joe and his surgery we pray for Tom good news uh, for Tom uh, the cancer hasn't spread so we are grateful for that and God's goodness to both Tom and Michelle and that I pray for those who are battling cancer at this time for Mary and Debbie June and Barb uh, that God would be with them. Pray for Jennifer Kurt as well. Uh, this morning, pray for Joyce and Chuck as they travel to Missouri, uh, and that God would be with them. For Ron as he 
uh, transitions to uh, to life in retirement uh, in these next next days. So we pray for for Ron. Just uh, grateful for him and uh, just the 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 wonderful man that that Ron is, and so grateful to have him in our lives. So uh, let me pray today. Faithful companion, we thank you for your constant presence while we run this race. May your presence rejuvenate and strengthen us on the journey as we anticipate our salvation in Jesus Christ. Lord, the day is coming when everything will be made right. Um, We wait on that day, uh, but we also put our faith into action. We wait and we work uh, as we seek to... uh, as we seek to fully embrace and experience your kingdom in our lives. And so we pray that your kingdom would come in and through us, that your will would be done in and through us. Uh, Lord, uh, your people and your your church. Um, These are difficult days. This is nothing new, Lord. Uh, As you've shown us in this parable, this is the way it's been from the beginning. Uh, Weeds and wheat. Uh, and yet, uh, we are called to live in this, uh, but producing fruit, um, producing an abundant fruit for your you, Lord. Um, those fruits of love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and gentleness and faithfulness and self-control. Uh, and so we just ask, Lord, that you would uh, empower us uh, to be people who bear that fruit as we wait and wait for you to come. We recognize how valuable it is that nothing in this world can compare. And so, uh, Lord, we're willing to sacrifice all, everything uh, for your kingdom, uh, knowing that you will take care of us. We thank you for your encouragement again today uh, as we seek to live as your people, as we seek to be encouragers of others. Uh, today we pray for, for Miss Jo. She's undergoing some surgery. She's in your hands, Lord, as we all are. Um, we just ask, Lord, that you would be with, with the doctors and the nurses as they perform these very delicate procedures on her heart, um, that those vessels would be opened and that her heart would be uh, free from the blockages. Um, pray for uh, Tom, and we celebrate with Tom and Michelle today in the good news that the cancer is not spreading. We just ask that it would hold in check, uh, Lord, and that you would continue to bring healing to him. For Mary, Deb, June, and Barb, those who are battling uh, cancer, uh, we just ask, Lord, your your hand, uh, your hand of favor uh, on them. Uh, Lord, we know you have them in your hands. Uh, and so... We we trust in that uh, today, that you go with them, that you are with them, and we'll never leave them or forsake them. Pray for Jennifer, uh, Lord, as she deals with health issues and all those who are struggling with health issues. Uh, Lord, uh, we thank you for this day. Uh, We ask that you would go before us and behind us, Lord. Uh, We we trust you. Uh, We're willing to sacrifice everything uh, to know and experience and live in your kingdom. Uh, again today and share that kingdom with others as we live by faith and as we put that faith into action. Bless our day. Uh, we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, well, good to be with you guys. Uh, thank you so much. Um, we are uh, uh, worshiping again this week, uh, Transfiguration Sunday, the end of Epiphany, uh, where God's plans are, are uh, come to light, if you will. Um, as as Jesus is revealed in the Mount of Transfiguration, uh, there to encourage us, to assure us that His plan is is coming together, uh, and uh, we're just we're grateful for that, and uh, that that God is merciful to us, and we can encourage others as, as we are people who are merciful. So bless your day today, um, and um, uh, I'll keep you. I'll, I'll maybe throw something out here later on. Uh, when I hear have some news about uh, Miss Jo. So uh, I, will, I will do that. All right, take care. God's blessings. And oh, this weekend, join us for worship. We always worship on the weekends, Saturdays and Sundays. I'm here. Uh, love to have you here as well. Bible class, we're, we're going in depth 
on this stuff. If you really want to get in depth on, on some of these parables of Jesus, we're working our way right through them in the book of Mark right now. So uh, really good stuff there as well. Love to have you. Uh, enjoy your day. God's blessings. Bye-bye.